Pleased to be joined by one of the greatest players we've seen in this generation. That's Patrice Bergeron. Well, what can we say, Patrice? The resume looks pretty good. Stanley Cup winner, World Cup, World Junior, World Championship, Olympic gold. Uh, you've done it all. Uh, great to have you here. And the best part of what you're doing as far as leaving a legacy is you're helping kids as well in the NHLPA's Goals and Dreams program. We just met up with some kids in the Hockey for Youth program in Montreal. What does it mean for you to, to see the look on their eyes when you're able to say, hey, we're, we're going to get you some new equipment, we're going to get you some ice time, and we want you to be part of this great hockey community? It's amazing. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of what you want. The, the, the whole goal of this program is to be able to, to reach out. You try to do your work on the ice, but it goes beyond that. And I think the most gratifying thing that for me is to be able to, to help and, and, and to reach out to the community and, and be able to, uh, to make a difference in someone's life. And uh, whether it's big or small, you know, it's trying to, uh, try to leave uh, an impact or, or make an impact somewhere. Uh, and why do you think it's so important to make hockey accessible to as many people as possible? Well, first of all, it, it helps grow, grow the game. And that's kind of what you want. You want to make sure everyone has access to this beautiful game. Uh, you can learn so many valuable le lessons in life just to, to put on the equipment, but also to win or lose, learn how to do that, learn how to, to play with your teammates. Everyone deserves a team. Everyone deserves to be a part of it. One thing about when you see accomplished people like yourself is people see the end result and they say, well, Patrice Bergeron, he's just a naturally gifted guy. He just, you know, he worked hard and things worked out. They don't necessarily know all the obstacles you faced. I mean, back, what, 10, 12 years ago, you had a pretty serious head injury. You, you missed six months of one season. And a lot of people thought this could be it. That could be the end of his career. Um, what do you remember most about that and the resilience it took to fight back to become uh, the player you became. Yeah, that was uh, that was tough. There was very a very difficult year uh, and beyond. You know, it took me a few years to really get back to where I wanted to be. And you're going to face adversity. There's going to be some some obstacles in front of you that are at, at in that particular moment are going to be heartbreaking. And and you might think this is it. You know, like you have I can't do this anymore. I can't you know go past that. But then you realize that those are there for a reason. It's to make you learn something, make you grow as a person, make you um, be better, really, and, and work harder and find ways. My path was not just an easy path. And, and, and uh, I was making a team, you know, the, the elite teams every year, even growing up, I was getting cut and uh, I wasn't very big. Uh, and, and yeah, so I had to, to fight my way there. And I think uh, hopefully a lot of people can relate to that. You know, a lot of people, kids that are growing up that have a dream that, you know, it's not always easy. What I love about it, your messaging is so spot on, especially for the kids in the, the Hockey for Youth group, uh, the kids in the Superheroes group, people who've had to have some challenges and to show the resilience and grit that you've shown is a great example for them and trying to live out their dreams as well. Well, you've been a great representative uh, for Canada, for the Bruins and for the hockey community uh, as in a total, you know, for the NHLPA and their Goals and Dreams program. So thanks so much, Patrice. Uh, continued success. We can't wait to see you back on the ice. Thank you so much. I much appreciate it.